why you should calibrate your pH meter every week. Hey growers, it's time to test the pH of my hydroponic nutrient solution. And just for you, I'm going to test it not once, not twice, but three times. Once using a budget liquid litmus kit, once using my HM Digital pH 200, and once with my backup Horticare pH meter manufactured by Trans Instruments. Let's start with the liquid litmus kit. Fill up the sample tube, add two or three drops of the litmus indicator, and give it a shake. Hold it against something white so that you can see the result more clearly. Now, if we compare the color with the chart on the bottle, I'd say we're about halfway between 5.0 and 6.0. I'd say around 5.5, maybe a touch lower. If we want more accuracy, we need to use a digital pH meter. Let's give this Horticare meter a go. I keep stirring until the meter beeps and the reading stops flashing. And as you can see, it's reading 5.7. Oh, don't forget to give the probe a little wash in distilled water and then keep the probe wet by pouring some solution into the cap. You can buy storage solution at your local hydro store or just mix up some water to pH 3.5. Finally, let's test the nutrient solution using the super accurate HM Digital pH 200. Switch it on and give it a stir. This really is a pH meter that's been designed specifically for hydro people. Now then, let's see. Okay, Here we have a reading of 5.81. Yeah, the pH 200 reads to two decimal points. And it also reads the temperature of my nutrient solution, 21.3 degrees Celsius. That's around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and you know what? I'm happy with that. Now that I'm done, I simply pour in some storage solution and screw the cap back on fairly tightly. Oops. <laughs> Put a little too much in there. So, the Hortacare read 5.7, and the HM Digital pH 200 read 5.81. But it's not a question of which one is right. It's a question of when they were both last calibrated. We're going to need some calibration fluid. This is simply liquid that's guaranteed to be at a certain pH. In this case, 7.01. First, let's test the Horticare. Now, it should be reading 7.0, but look at that. It's way up at 7.4, so we need to recalibrate. Next, let's take a look at the HM Digital's pH 200. It's reading over 7.5, so as I suspected, both meters need recalibrating. Fortunately, it's really easy. A quick read of the PH 200's user manual and see, it has an automatic recalibration feature, which is excellent. Pour out some of the PH 7.01 calibration fluid again and sit the meter in like so. Hold down the cal button for about five seconds. Wait and presto, my PH 200 meter is recalibrated. Um, it even automatically senses which type of calibration fluid I'm using. Now, I know that technically the calibration fluid is 7.01, not 7.00, but there is a 0.01 tolerance on the bottle, and I can use the manual calibration function. The Horticare meter is easy to calibrate too. Just dip into the calibration solution and hold down the cal button, pretty much the same. So. My newly calibrated pH meters reveal one important thing. My pH was actually a little on the low side, and I'll add some fresh water to the tank to raise it up a little. Okay, that'll do for now. Don't forget to comment, and remember you'll find tons more videos, articles, and downloadable PDFs at www.justforgrowers.com, the global garden community. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.